today, Jacoba. Well, we are back up here in Hollywood on the boulevard to do our Grammy recap. Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you happy? Were you sad? I want to know your thoughts. Could you do better? So we're going to go check it out right now. Let's go. All right, what's your name? My name is Maneka. Maneka is here. Are you from LA? No, I'm from, actually I'm from Sacramento. Sacramento, all right, up north where they grow all the good medicine. Anyway, <laughs> so we are doing a quick recap of this last Grammy showdown. What okay. are your thoughts? Um, actually, I thought this was one of the best Grammys that they had in a while. Really? And yeah. who were your favorite performers? Um, I really like the Kanye West. I know I'm going to get a lot of but I like the Kanye. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. And what did you think about Kanye interrupting Beck while he was receiving his album of the year award? Well, Kanye is known for that. Do you also think he has a secret crush on Beyonce? No, I think he's just with the Rock Nation. Whatever yeah. that means. Would you like to sword fight? <laughs> oh really? <laughs> just to break the ice. Okay. Oh, Oli. He told me to tighten up. Cameraman right. said tighten up. Alright. <laughs> um, sorry. That's all good. I like that. You just stood strong. Okay, so Grammy recap 2015. What did you think overall of the entire event? It was all good, except at the end with uh, Kanye interrupting the game. That shit is bullshit. I mean, what would you do to Kanye if you saw him on the street right now? You're probably gonna fight with him. Yeah, you're gonna like throw right. some bows. I respect him 50 50, yes, but sometimes like, some of the stuff he does is just crazy. And what do you think of the performances? There were some good ones, like Madonna's was good. I don't know how old she is, but she's old. Yeah, she's like 60. Does she look 60 to you? No. Would you still hit it? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. There you have it. Madonna living for love. We like you. Hey! Did you watch the Grammys? Are you being shy because you don't want to be on camera? No, I'm not Did, Oh yeah, you're going to get fired. Thank you, come over here. You're awesome. I love her. She doesn't even know what we're doing, but she came over. You're awesome. Did you watch the Grammys this year? Uh, watched half of it. Oh good. Now why only half? Bored? No, I had things to do. Yeah? Married what woman life. I hear that. Is that your hubby? Yeah. Hubba hubba. <laughs> um, so what was your favorite part so far that you saw? Probably... I don't know. I like all, all the things I watch. Like, I'm not really competitive about like this one is better and that one is not. You know. I really like the Beyonce part. She's oh, my favorite. Where she sang the Mahela Jackson song, the gospel song. I, I don't I don't know the names of them, but was she dressed in white? No, I don't think so. Wait, was she? What's your name? Sasha. Sasha. <laughs> Thank you, Sasha. Where are you from? Russia. Sasha from Russia, my sister. <laughs> okay, I appreciate well, the time. Thank you. I appreciate you. You know. What do you know? Everything, baby. Mr. Muscles knows everything you know. <laughs> Mr. Muscles. Yeah, baby. Did you watch the Grammys this year? Yeah, baby. Oh, okay. How did you feel about the event as a whole? Fantastic. 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 What did you enjoy most? Everything. Everything's fantastic. Everything's You beautiful. know, you know that music is off the hook, you know. And wait till you hear my music. Oh, yeah, I get out on the guitar, folks. You know you ain't heard nothing yet. Till you heard Mr. Muscles get out on the guitar. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh. All right. <laughs> Woo. Thank you, Mr. Muscles. You got it, baby. Yeah, I'm good. Let me go. Let's see what you got to say. Okay, well, I was working. working. <laughs> That's cool. Would you have watched them if you could? Yeah, probably. Closer. It's yeah, fine. definitely. Yeah? yeah? You're a big music fan? Yeah, absolutely. I work at Amoeba Music. So. Hello, Amoeba's in the house. This is big. Amoeba yeah. Music. This is huge. Thank you so much. Nice. How do you feel about Beyonce being chosen to sing that over Lettuce? I mean, Beyonce is a great artist, so I, I mean, she can do anything. There's nothing that she can't do, so I mean, it was a great choice. I mean, to be honest, it's Beyonce, so, I mean, Beyonce is Beyonce, yeah, you can't really say more than that. You're right, Queen Bay. <laughs> yes, exactly. So, four or five seconds, huh? do you know that song with um, Paul McCartney, Rihanna, and Kanye? Yes, I do, yes. Interesting combo. It is definitely an interesting combo, but, I mean, it's refreshing, so. Okay, yeah, I like it. What's that song about? Um, I mean, to, to be honest, like, I've, I've heard, like, only uh, small portions of it. I haven't heard it all the way through enough to have, like, a real opinion on it. But, I mean, Paul McCartney, Kanye West, like, I mean, they're great artists in themselves, and Paul McCartney's just a genius, so. And you know yeah. Kanye? Bombarded the stage. Again yes, see, I did see that where he bombarded the stage where Beck went and was uh, 
you know, receiving his award and all that, I did see him go up and, uh, yeah, thankfully he didn't actually get up on the stage and say anything or, you know, have another Taylor Swift moment, so. Yeah, I think he censored himself for the sake of his child. Yes, 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 absolutely, so. So are you excited for, you know, 2016 musically, being uh, a music head yourself? Yeah, you know, like, uh, Tom York just came out with a new album, we got a bunch of new releases in, Adam Eva, so if anybody would like to come in and check out anything in the store, we got a lot of new uh, stuff coming up in the next couple of months, so. Great. Awesome, well, thank you so much for your time. Just just say your name and shout out. My name is Michelle. Shout out to Amoeba Music. We're out here passing out coupons and stuff for people. So if you ever get the chance to come in, it's, it's Hollywood and Sunset. So it's my girl. happy. <laughs> I want to talk to some people about Pharrell. For real. So you watch the Grammys. I am specifically wondering what you thought about that Pharrell performance. I think Pharrell is fantastic no matter He's what. a super He's nice guy from the looks of things, so it's hard to take him very dark and seriously. Okay, and what do you think about that last minute Beyonce for Lettuce, Lettuce for Beyonce swap? Did you hear about that? No, I didn't. Okay, so yeah. Lettuce, Lettuce who played Mahala Jackson in the Selma movie sang the song Beyonce sang in the movie, and Beyonce ended up singing it for the Grammys. And supposedly right. it was a very last minute switch. Fair, not fair. If, I think Beyonce does what she wants. So if she wanted to do it, then she did it. So in other words, Beyonce rules the world? Well, we know that. <laughs> and who else runs the world? Jay-Z. <laughs> You're supposed to say girls, but yes, the good answer. Jay-Z, Beyonce, and us, females. You bet. What's your name? Tammy. Tammy, I appreciate you taking time oh, to Thank you so us. much. Thank you. It's another day in Grammy world. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this shady business. Let's do it. I need one Madonna fan. One Madonna fan to talk to me. Anybody? Material girl. Celebration. Like a virgin, of course. Did you watch the Beatles? So, Paul McCartney, are you a fan? Well, Is he I a Beatle? Get, I get emails every week of it. Oh, you do? Yeah. Emails with like dollar bills. I'm an ex roadie. Are you? Get out of here. So what do you think of this new song, Four or Five Seconds with Rihanna and Kanye? I haven't seen it. Uh, yeah, it's called Four or Five Seconds. I don't really understand what it's about, but nobody does. But I was a roadie for the Beach Boys, the Shadows, the Hollies, Cliff Richard, what? Lulu, Leo Sayer, Don McLean. I've toured with Carlos Santana, Johnny Mathis, Frank Sinatra, Bob Hope. I did the lighting for Copacabana. Okay, wow, that's a I've got a degree in lighting design. Okay, and what exactly were your duties as a roadie? Roll the bloods? We used to just basically um, put all the stages together and then do the lighting for the show. Amazing. That the works. worst guy I ever worked for, who was an absolute bastard, was Art Garfunkel. <laughs> he punched anybody that asked him for his autograph and told him to F off. Men, ladies, youngsters, even little children. How dare he? He went like this, F off. Bang! And he punched every single one of them. Well, I'm glad you didn't tell me to F off. No. Not yet. I did the lighting for, 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 for him with a big lighting tube on my shoulder. I just wish it was a machine gun. Right? <laughs> there you have it. He was horrible. Paul Simon was lovely, but Garfunkel was a bastard. All right. Take Thank care. You too. Madonna, can I talk to you about Madonna? Oh, opinion about this I desperately want a t-shirt with Madonna on. You want a t-shirt with Madonna's face on it? Yeah. Yeah, she's cool. And I want one with Marilyn Monroe on it as well. <laughs> Can't believe she was murdered 50 odd years ago. I know, and how about this Bobby Christina thing on the heels of Whitney's third anniversary of her death? That's Whitney and Bobby Brown's daughter. She I actually failed the memory test. Okay, yes. I would be too, every day. Um, but okay, we're gonna see about getting you those t-shirts. What are you up to now? What do you do? Now I'm going to uh, Burger King to eat and then tomorrow morning I'm flying home. Where is home? Well, I'm flying to Houston, then London, then Malta. Day! I've got a 17 hour flight. All right, well, I wish you well. Thank you so much for speaking with well, us here. Well, I will be back here next January. I will be looking for, for you. For another board meeting. That's all I do. I come here to go to like a 15 minute board meeting. Enjoy Burger King. Okay. Nice to meet you. Thank What's you, you too, Jacoba. Jacoba. Mine's Jacoba. John. John. Take Thank care. You. Bye. See you, lad. What is your name, lovely sir? 
Matus Pizzato. Matus Pizzato, potato, potato. Oh, why are you messing up my name? <laughs> <laughs> this is what I... I'm just kidding. Oh, God. This is what I travel the country Yeah, Yes, you travel the country. Anyway, we're here to talk about the Grammys, and we're recapping some shady things that I witnessed when I watched it, such as Madonna's performance. You know she has a new hit song called Living for Life. It sucks. It sucks. What, is, what do you think that song is actually about? Garbage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> garbage. Right. So, but in the title it says the word love. Yeah, I will translate that in Spanish to basura. 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 Amor. No. Basura. Si. So, did you watch the Grammys? Absolutely. What did you think of her performance? She looked like a prostitute. I mean, what are some signs that you would think that? Uh, she looked very satanic. She's hidden her eyes. I understand that. And are you a child of the light? Absolutely. Were there any other dark moments you noticed at the Grammys? <laughs> um, yeah, Beyonce. Beyonce? Yeah, what about? Very wicked looking with the hair. I couldn't agree more. And the gaze. Let's do a Beyonce gaze. Wait, I'm going to do mine. Then you're going to do yours, okay? Okay, you're, you're up. You're up. You didn't even try it yet. Absolutely. <laughs> there you have it, Matias from New Jersey. New Jersey. Speaking some truth on the Grammys this year. It's everything is not as it seems, brats. Yeah, brats. Yeah. Jersey. Uh, North Jersey. You know I went to school in Mala, right? I'm a Ramapo. Graduate. North. We are closing out this mission here on Hollywood Boulevard. Let me know what you thought. Put some comments on the bottom of the video. We'll catch y'all next time. <laughs>